each day's news brings some statement by some major Republican uh, talking about their reservations about Donald Trump or saying they're not going to vote or that they're not going to vote for Trump or that they won't run with Trump. Uh, what's going on? Well, first of all, Donald Trump failed to dance to the tune of the establishment of the Republican Party. And the establishment fears losing control over its own party. It fears that more than it fears losing the presidency, more than it fears losing the election. An election is for four years. Losing control of your party is a lifetime. And the special interests and lobbyists in the Republican Party uh, and the politicians who dance to their tune are determined to keep control, and that means to keep Trump out of the White House. Can Trump be elected despite this split? Sure he can. Uh, the endorsements of governors and senators don't amount to much, and the public sees through this and realizes that this is an establishment dance against Donald Trump. In fact, the more the establishment turns on Donald Trump, uh, the more likely the Trump voters are to turn out to vote. Remember what happened during the primaries. Uh, all of the establishment was for Bush, and then when he couldn't win, they were for Rubio, and then at the end, they came out for Cruz. And one after another, the candidates lost their vote share when they received that kiss of death. Uh, Cruz's campaign stalled when Bush and others came out for him, and he became suddenly not the rebel, but the candidate of the establishment. And the same thing is going to happen now, only in reverse, and is going to help Donald Trump. A lot of the people who are turning on Trump are simply senators up for re-election, and they're trying to demonstrate their independence and uh, not to be drowned in a straight ticket vote. Mark Kirk, for example, the senator from Illinois, who probably would support Trump, all things being equal, probably would be enthusiastic about it. Uh, he's been the leader in the fight against Iran. Um, suddenly said that he's not going to vote for Trump. Well, Illinois is going to go for uh, Hillary, and he doesn't want to be drowned in that tide, so he sticks out from the crowd and says, I'm not going to vote for Trump. And you have a whole bunch of these politicians who are doing it basically for attention, basically to save themselves from defeat in solidly blue states where they're running for re-election. I don't think it matters much. Uh, I think that Trump is going to do just fine. At the moment in the polls, he's about five points behind Hillary, and Hillary was five points behind him in May right after he got the Republican nomination. Hillary's bounce is largely the product of, um, of, of Sanders withdrawing and of her co-opting the Democratic nomination. Not likely to last, and in my opinion, not a big deal. Can Trump defeat Hillary? Well, that's the question we ask in our new book, Armageddon, that goes on sale on Tuesday uh, in bookstores around the country and on Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. Thanks for watching.